Hey, what is up everyone? So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about a new OSINT tool that I discovered, I installed it, and I tested it out, which was really, really cool. So it's called Mr. Homes, okay? So you can just go out to GitHub and just put in, you know, go to Google, put Mr. Homes in Google, and you can get this link. Or I can, you know, if I remember, I'll throw it in the description uh, below. So it's pretty, pretty simple to install, and I'll showcase this today. So, you know, just come down and we're going to read a few things before we get started. So what is Mr. Homes? It's a information gathering tool. The purpose of it is to gather information about domains, usernames, phone numbers, etc. All public accessible information on the Internet, right? So obviously it's for researchers. If you want to do a pen test on a company, you want to utilize this tool to gather information. It's definitely something cool. Right. So it also uses a proxy to make the request completely anonymous. What does that mean? So if I'm using a proxy anonymizing that traffic, it can't be tracked back to you. All right. So and it has a who is API for gathering information about a domain. OK, so I really like this disclaimer and I want to talk about this disclaimer for a second. So this tool is not 100 percent accurate, so it can ha it can fail sometimes. That's what any tool, right? Any homegrown tool, we just have to appreciate the community for building these tools to make our lives easier. Sometimes a hit or miss, right? So obviously use it for, you know, it was made for educational and research purposes. Only don't use this against any targets that you don't have permission to do so, right? So here is a little screenshot of the application and on a phone or some kind of tablet. And then how do you install it? It's pretty, pretty easy. I'll zoom this in as much uh, as 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 best as I can. Sorry. So you just pretty much get clone. Just copy this, throw this in your terminal. I already did all this. So if I just zoom this in LS, I already did the install. I did this process already. And, you know, you just do a quick update. You change the modification um, for the install file and then you do sudo bash install for installation. And then the way you run it, let's see if it shows you how to utilize it. Let's come down here, utilize. So you just run Python three and then the Python file, mrhomes.py. OK, so let's just get started. OK, let's go and just do Python three, mrhomes.py. Once it's done installing, you'll get this uh, cool little uh, uh, banner up here, Mr. Holmes. Yes, Holmes, I believe. Whatever. I believe the wheel has turned again and, and now it's back to work. OK, so the current date is today, the 15th. I don't know. Yes, it is. Today is the 15th. And, you know, like I said, thank you for this tool. Luxie, I guess that's how you would say the name. That's how I would say it. If I chop it up, I'm sorry. And then you can just come down here to the options, right? So say, for example, you want to do domain IP OSINT, right? Let's just do that. Let's do number three. So insert the domain or IP address. So I'm just going to do infosecpat.com because I have permission to do this against my own site. Let's hit enter. So this module allows you to search uh, about the domain and, and the organization. So you can see the IP address. This is going to give all the information for it, right? You can see the Google Maps, blah, blah, blah. So just for giggles, let's see if this is the right IP address. Let's open up a new terminal. Let's make this big and let's ping infosecpat.com. Okay, so we have this IP 3.43 and we come back here 3.43. So this is the same IP address. So that is correct. All right. So yeah, that's pretty much, you know, obviously you can check out the different tools. I just wanted to make this a quick, easy video. And do you want, you know, to perform a lookup? I guess yes. Let's just do yes. Let's see what it does. It looks like you're pressing valiant key. Oh, I, I meant to put two. My bad. That's my fault. Let's do this again. Three. Let's do infosecpat.com. Let's let it do its thing. Blah, blah, blah. And then let's go ahead and type in one for yes. All right. So now it's going to do a who is information gathering. So it's a, you know pretty much a who is. And you can see it's hosted on HostGator, and that is correct. You know, the tech name is protect privacy or oh, perfect privacy.llc. Obviously, it just protects the identity of myself, but 
you know, it is me and infosecpat.com. So say for example, if someone's doing some reconnaissance and they want to gather maybe the, the email for the contact, maybe they can, you know, if it, it gives out their email, you know, then you're going to be, you can get spammed or whatever. Okay. So if you want to go ahead and perform a Google and index or uh, Yandex dork search, you can put yes and it'll go through the possible Google dorking links and go through all its stuff to gather as much information on infosecpat.com. Okay. And then it, what it does, it puts it into a directory called Google, uh, GUI reports, websites, dorks, infosecpat.com underscore dorks.txt. So let's just go ahead and just copy this for a second. And do we want to, no, I'm just going to say two. I want to exit out of here. That's fine, right? We're going to kill that. So let's cat that out real quick. So what I did, I just came all the way up and everything that it gathered on my machine. Let's do that again. So I'm catting where the location of my infosec pat uh, Google dorks.txt is. I hit enter here and it gives me all that information. So now what I have is all the information that I need for like, for example, my report, or, you know, if I want to go ahead and do some research, like if there's any TXT, PDFs, log files, doc, docx, SQLite, blah, blah, blah. All right. So you get the gist. It's going out and just querying things. And that's about it for this video. I wanted to make it short and sweet and showcase this cool tool. And like you said, let's just run this tool one more time and go through the different options and then we can end it. So you have social media OSINT. So for, for example, if you want to go check out social media sites, and then you have phone number OSINT, you have encoding, decoding, you have domain IP OSINT, which we did, configuration, PDF uh, graph uh, converter, uh, database GUI, update, file transfer, import scanner, email, session uh, options, dorks generator, people OSINT, and exit. So, you know, whatever kind of OSINT, I did, you know, I did some stuff on like, like a people OSINT, you can just type in number 10 for an example for that. And then uh, 10. So maybe, you know, it, it times out. But anyhow, this module allows you to see the last 20 users that match the perimeter. All right. So, you know, you can just go through the, the prompts. I'm not going to go search anyone. I'm not going to do that because that's I, I'm not going to get in trouble and I don't have the permission to do so. I'm not going to just go out and look for that. But you can do it on yourself, see what's out there on yourself, and that's about it. So thank you so much for viewing, and I'll see you guys in the next one.